Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us for another fun project where we are doing a frog. And I have with me a little artist named Luna. Luna. How old are you? Six. Six. Six and a half. And wow. Luna's favorite color is green. Green. And that's why we were so excited to paint this project together. Yeah. So grab out your supplies. We have green, actually we might just be using two green colors, but grab some green. We have pine green and leaf green, and then grab a yellow. We're using lemon yellow. And then we have our palette. Our water is close to us. And then can you show them your big brush? Mm -hmm. We're gonna be using this really big brush. It's a wide brush, because we're gonna be learning how to paint this whole background. So grab that if you have that. And then, oh, and then we're using an outline. So this is already printed. Now, if you don't have this, ask a grown up to go to our website and type in frog shadow, because that's what this project is. And you can download this outline and paint with us. And then the last thing is Luna and I already taped our paper so that it doesn't move. So we used our tape. Mm -hmm. So we're good to go with that. Okay, I think that's it. But let's start with our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. Boom, that was a good one, yes. Okay, so Luna is going to use our pine green and she's gonna squeeze some out. So this is gonna be a really, really dark color because we're gonna make a lighter color we're gonna make, or we're gonna make three colors. Oh my <laughs> Is that one hard to squeeze out? Um. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yep, just set that down. Yeah, okay, great. So we have, that's gonna be a fun, cool splatter. I love nice. that. Okay, so we have green, so that's our dark color. So we're gonna use our color mixing guide and we're gonna do just one drop here and one drop here. So we're gonna make three different colors. So can you use, actually use our yellow and squeeze, let's do, let's do three drops of yellow in here. So this is gonna be our medium color. Wonderful, can you 10 drops? So do a lot in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Boom, okay. Let's test out what this looks like. Mix it? Yeah, mix it up. So let's see. Here's our dark green. Ooh, which one was Ooh. that one? Was that this one or this one? Uh-huh. That one? Boom. Okay, nice. let's see what this is. <gasps> okay, so Ooh. what we need to do is, so these two are really close, so we need to add a little bit more yellow to this one. So can you squeeze more yellow? Because we want a really, really light green. Oh, we can also add water, so keep going. Is it coming out? There was one. <laughs> so we're gonna squeeze more. So remember, what we're doing is we're mixing three different colors that we're gonna paint with. Here, I have a trick for you. If our yellow isn't working, Let's just add a lot of water here. So that's, there's two different ways you can make a color lighter. You can either add yellow or we're gonna add water. So can you do some paint? Can you paint that on this paper? Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, yes. do you see how that's lighter? Mm -hmm. Good job, you just made light green. It's lime, lime green. Lime green, yes. Okay, so we're gonna start with the lime green color. So we have a lot of that. So can you grab your big brush? So your big brush, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this whole background. So dip in water, and then dip in here, and you're gonna paint the whole thing. So our paper, oh cool! So here's a trick, Lou. Let's see what happens if, actually you don't have to do this, but if you paint diagonal, so paint go like this, go up and down this way, and that will help us look like our leaf is going like that. So paint in an angle like that and go up and down. Yeah, so stick with our lime green. Yeah, good job. <laughs> We're gonna go for it. So if you paint at this diagonal line, the reason why is I wanna make sure, is this in the shot? Yeah. If you bring it in, yep. 
So do you see how these lines are going like this in this direction? Yes. If we paint in that direction, it will help when we get to that spot. But if you wanna go for it like Lou is, do it. Paint it, good job. So we're gonna paint the whole background. And again, we're using our lightest color. Oh, you're gonna do the dark color? You can just add some water with it. Do it, color explosions, Luna's going for it. <laughs> nice, okay, keep paint your whole background. We got a little bit up there. Yeah. Would you ladies Good like job. to know some frog facts while we paint? Yes. Okay. How about the frog's life cycle? Yeah. How many cycle, how many stages do you think there are? How many do you think, Lou? A hundred. A hundred? <laughs> okay. It's a little less. It's five. There's five stages. Five stages. You know, you like ready? you were really small when you were born and you were a really little baby? So what's the first step when first they're born? First step is eggs. <gasps> Frogs start out as eggs. There can be thousands of eggs at one time. Whoa. Yeah. So actually paint over the whole thing because we're going to paint on top of it. Yeah. Just paint over the whole thing. Ooh, and Lou, if you want to keep it light, you can just add water for the rest of the paint that's already yeah, on your paper. Because guess what? We're going to make it dark after. Yeah. So nice. show them how you can add water and make a lighter color. Good job. Beautiful. Look at that. The next so, stage for a frog's life Stage number two, as they call it, is a tadpole. <gasps> After 10 days, that's it. 10, ten days, days they go from an egg to a tadpole. Yep, tiny tadpoles hatch without legs. Tadpoles breathe through gills like a fish. Have you ever seen a tadpole? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, the neighbor's bug caught some tadpoles. <laughs> so um, you saw them? Yeah, there's a bunch. Were they really small? Uh-huh. Yeah. They were wow. gray. They were gray. Oh. That's fun. Okay, so before we let's move let's before Keenan shows us the next step, we're gonna do one thing, Luna. Ready? Wet. Okay, so this is really wet, right? Mm -hmm. So if yours has dried, use water and just paint water on here. And while it's wet, grab your other brush, Luna. Grab your round brush. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna use our medium color. So let's make a little bit more for us. Yeah, so use that color. Let me add some water, yellow for you. So you're gonna dip in this color and guess what? So we're gonna draw these lines. So start from this side and go up. Yeah, oh, do them that way, yeah. So if you start from the left side. Cool, oh, I love that looks Luna. awesome. And so what's happening is this is our wet on wet technique. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Whoa. Let me make you more. So because our paint was wet, yeah, add some yellow. Because our paint was wet, do you <laughs> see all this cool blooming that's going on? Yes. So much fun. Yeah, so keep going, add your lines, because these are our leaves, so we're making it look like a leaf. Okay, go Keenan, next stage. Okay, the next stage, as they call it, is stage number three. Tadpole with legs. Okay, so they don't, so tadpoles don't have legs and then the, they grow legs. Correct, the third stage. After only six to nine weeks, tadpoles grow two legs. The body and tail grow longer and they start to grow lungs. Wait, Luna, guess what? So our frog has four legs. So in that third stage, it only has two. So they grow two first and then they're gonna grow two more later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had, so, um, we, Oh, only two grow their back legs. Oh, yeah. Wow. Isn't that cool? This looks so good. Do you see your lines? Good job. Okay, so what we're actually doing is we're going to let this dry. So you can either take a snack break or Luna and I, I think are going to use our heat tool. So you can turn, is it work? So you can turn it on. Yeah. So you can use it and dry your paper and we'll meet you back. We're back from our snack break and we're going to do our last step. So ready, Lou? Okay, 
So we are going to use just our dark green. Our dark green is pine green. So I'm gonna squeeze some out for us. So we are going to paint. Do you wanna use a small brush or a big brush? You wanna do a big one? Okay, so you don't have to press really, really hard. You can just go really lightly. So we're gonna paint inside of our frog. Yeah. So the reason why it's a solid green color is because it looks like it's a shadow. Oh. So it means that the frog is actually behind our leaf. Isn't that cool? Yeah. When you get here, do you wanna use the small brush or do you still like that brush? Okay, good job. So do you see how Luna's really lightly touching? <gasps> Nice work, Good Lou. Good job. She can get a really thin line from just really lightly touching. So I'm not pushing very hard. I'm just lightly touching. Yeah, so there's your frog. So this is actually the underside. So it's a shadow and it's the bottom of a frog. Because oh. it's the leaf and then the frog's right here, but it's shining through. So we see the bottom Ooh. of it. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Speaking of shadows and frogs... Yeah. Guess what the next stage of a frog's <gasps> life is. What's the next stage? The fourth stage? So it has two legs right now. It's a tadpole. Yes. And it has four legs. Yes. Okay, what's Two that? legs. Two, sorry, two legs. It has two legs. At about 12 weeks, the tadpole grows two more legs. The long tail becomes short, and it is named a froglet. That's a cute name. It's a cute face. A froglet. It kind of looks like a little dinosaur. Can I see it? And then it, and then it into a turns into a frog. an adult <gasps> frog. At 12 to 16 weeks, the tail disappears and is now an adult frog. Whoa. I know. So then the female frog then lays eggs and the cycle starts over with a new generation of froglets or eggs. Can we, can we color eyes in it? Yeah. Do you want to draw eyes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have to get a, we can use a white jelly roll. We can use that after. So the other thing I was going to say is Luna sees hers. So she sees, you want to draw eyes right here? So if your frog is actually, instead of being underneath, if you want to make an actual frog and not a shadow, you can add eyes on it with a white pin. Ooh. We can do that after and then do black. I love your creativity. Can we take the table? Yeah, you want to take it off? Okay. So we're all done. But while Luna is doing that, here's the cool thing is, Luna, you wanted to draw flowers, right? Uh -huh. So after this is dry, you can use markers or you can paint more and you can draw flowers. You can draw other things on your, on your frogs. And actually, we wanted to give a shout out to Kinsey, and she's seven, and she did our rocket ship project. And she's a great example of using your creativity. And she, oh, that's okay. She wrote a poem. Actually, Keenan, can you read it? Yes, I can. Yeah, so she wrote a poem with her rocket ship, and we wanted to share it with you because she was so creative. The Big Dipper. My feet are on the ground, but my head is in the clouds, exploring and soaring past planets. Remember the rocket ship project you did? So Kinsey painted that too, and she made a poem like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. She's great. Isn't that awesome? So good job, Kinsey. Thank you for painting with us. Kinsey! Woohoo! Luna's all ready to be done. She's taking her she apron off. She is ready <laughs> to go. Okay, wait, can we say bye to them? Bye. Thanks for painting with us. Share with us, we want to hear, and we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so one more thing. Luna was ready to wrap up, but I wanted to remind you is share with us what you make. So hold up your painting and take a photo and tell us about maybe you draw, maybe draw other things. Maybe you write a poem that goes with it. Please share with us. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects, and we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. So always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative, and thanks for painting with us. Bye.